episode 22, Nation of Diamonds, with me, Sabrina Victoria, as your host. Today, I want to talk about how easy it is to alter your world and your universe. Join me today and let's talk about you. She has no business giving advice because all the so-called social norms are against her. But she's here in your world to give her slightly biased, in-your-face opinion on how she thinks you could human better. Follow now to catch all her inspirational words on life, business, love, and learning to empower yourself. And now, your host, Sabrina Victoria. Hello, my diamonds. So I am cutting it close today. <laughs> totally on accident. It is Sunday, January 21st, 2018. This is my 22nd podcast. I am so excited. I have so many amazing things going through my head as far as where I am taking Nation of Diamonds and all of the wonderful, wonderful paths that I have set out for myself and for you guys. So many things are becoming so clear to me and I am so excited and literally just jumping for joy on the inside. Today is special because um, this is something that I have dealt with for a very long time, um, whether it's myself or dealing with other individuals in my life who have, um, I don't want to say it's a problem, but who do this, I guess. Um, I like to call them finger pointers or blamers or uh, people that just uh, enjoy um, calling people out. Um, It's very frustrating to be on the other end of that. And so I just kind of wanted to talk briefly on how important it is to not do that. And um, let's just jump right into it. So basically, um, I kind of have a story to start out with. So there was a man who uh, set out with big things as far as helping the world. And he set out and he said, I am going to change and alter my world. And no one listened. So he thought, okay, I will try to help and change my country. Couple years went by, nothing worked. He said, you know what? I'm going to just concentrate on my county or my state. Tried that for a couple years. Nobody would listen. He said, okay, I will try to change my city for the better. Again, nobody listened. So he sat and he thought, how in the world can I make a difference? And he realized at a very old age that he needs to start with his family. Bettering his family. And on his deathbed, he sat And he thought, I should have just started with myself. See, so many of us, including me, have these huge dreams, these huge passions that they are embarking on in their life. And they want to go out and they want to tell everybody their way of doing things. The best way, always, the first step, always, 
is to make sure that you yourself are living up to your highest potential before you go around pointing out everyone else's flaws. It's very, very difficult to give advice on pretty much anything if you yourself are not abiding by your same advice. It's kind of like when your parents the saying, you know, do as I say, not as I do. People will call you out for that. It's kind of like uh, the gym, right? I go to LA Fitness down here in Florida. And uh, it's very frustrating sometimes when uh, they're calling you up, asking you if you want that uh, the free um, little trial where they'll you know sit down with you and give you a little test run on a personal trainer. And you kind of look around at these personal trainers and they're kind of fluffy, they're kind of overweight. They're kind of pudgy. They're not looking too fit. They're not looking too muscular. They're not looking too lean. And all I'm thinking to myself is this guy, this girl, the this is the person that's going to show me how to eat right, how to exercise right, how to lift right. It makes no sense. You have to be living up to your highest potential. And this is what happens. When you start with yourself, you start eating right. You start exercising. You stop swearing. You stop smoking. You stop drinking. You stop spending extra money frivolously. All of a sudden, who's looking at you? Right? What did we talk about yesterday? Yesterday it was all about children. Your children are watching you. Your spouse is watching you. And see, this is what happens. When you are a prime example, when you start, uh, you're working on your own self-development, you start educating yourself on food, health, brain development, mentally, physically, emotionally, holding your temper, holding your tongue, being more patient, loving your wife, loving your kids. When you start showing an abundance of love like you've never shown before, of patience like you've never shown before, of willpower like you've never shown before because you're working on yourself. All of a sudden, your family will take lead. They'll follow your lead because they'll see a huge change in you mentally, a huge change in your personality for the better. And they will look up to you as a beautiful role model and will follow that. Now, this is what happens. When you are a prime example for your family and they follow your lead, then your entire family is a brilliant, bright light when they go out into the world. And when they go out into the world, you as a family, you are so bright and so lit and so sunny that it's hard to miss you and people will watch you and people will look to you. People will want to emulate you and your family. And that, my friends, is how you make big changes in your world and big alterations in your universe. It is as simple as starting with you. You start talking to your wife more lovingly. She will in return react positively and your marriage will start to fix itself.
And when you and your wife are getting along, do you do you not think that will reflect kindly on your children? Your wife won't be losing her temper on the children. The children will be in a better mood. The whole bar will be raised in your family. And when you go out into the world, people will feel that vibe. How many of you have gone out and seen with your own eyes beautiful families, well-behaved children, the epitome of um, what an ideal family looks like. Now, does that mean you're not going to have any problems? Does that mean that there's no drama? Of course not. But when you are thinking sharply, when you are eating correctly, when you are exercising the way you're supposed to be, when you are stretching your ligaments and your muscles and meditating on your thoughts and being creative and hitting your highest potential, you are calmer, you're more relaxed when you and your wife have a list written out, goals written out for you, for your family. It's so much easier to be calm. And when you go out into your universe with a calm personality and vibe and demeanor, the world will act calmer towards you. And overall, good, good things for you and good things for your family and your universe. So this is what I encourage you to do. Instead of setting out in your world this week, trying to figure out how to change everyone else, how to get your husband to not be such of a douchebag, how to get your children to not be so rotten. Instead of concentrating so much on them needing to be better, work on yourself, work on your patience, work on your love, be as loving, be as kind, be as sweet as you can, pour out love, pour out compliments, Make sure everyone in your family hears from you as far as them being beautiful, them being smart, them being brilliant. And if you start to make actions towards bettering you and throwing out love, I guarantee that the atmosphere in your home will brighten. And if you continue, to exercise those qualities as you push goodness, your family will reciprocate goodness and it will expand into your world automatically. Make sure that you are Every single day, reminding yourself that you are awesome and reminding your family that they are awesome. Everyone around you needs reminders of how great and how brilliant they are. And I have given you the job of making sure each one of them knows that. That has now become your duty and your obligation this week. 
So thank you so much for joining me here at Nation of Diamonds. I was your host, Sabrina Victoria. Be sure to follow me here on SoundCloud and check out all my other social media under sabrinavictoria.com. Always healthy, passion-filled content here. I am here to support you in your dreams. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I am always willing to hear and guide you to your passion. Do something awesome today. Much love. Mwah. Thanks for listening. For more awesome spoonfuls of things only Sabrina can get away with saying, visit SabrinaVictoria.com. And this is a reminder to follow Sabrina Victoria on Facebook for posts straight to your wall as soon as they happen.